Jason Miller with Big Board Sports. Now, Big Board Sports with Ashley Miller. Good morning, everyone. It's been a tough week for the Siena men's basketball team. Michael Bear's father passed away from bladder cancer back on Sunday, and then honorary Saint and Tamarack senior Evan Franz lost his battle with brain cancer on Monday. It was only fitting that last night's battle for first place in the MAC against Iona was the coaches versus cancer suits and sneakers game. First half, Jackson Stormo barrels into the post. He's fouled, and it goes for the end one, and that gets the Saints fans on their feet early. Andrew Playtech is leading the Mac in three-point percentage, but he was using his whole arsenal driving before he hits the floater. Going into the locker room, the Saints were down by three, but it's nothing short of magic in the second half. Playtech with a loud three-pointer. He scores 18. Then off the inbounds, Stormo contests the defense. He goes right at him and goes to the bucket. His, his day ends after five fouls, but he contributes 17 points. But Michael Bear, it was his night. 18 points, 12 rebounds, the best game of his career. And the Saints take command in the second half. They are now in first place in the MAC all alone. They get the win at home 70 to 53. Lexi Swat has more from MVP Arena. Ashley, tonight was one of those nights where the story was about more than what happened on the basketball court. Holding Rick Pitino's team to just 17 second half points and earning sole possession of the top of the max standings. Bear had the best game of his career and trying to explain how that happened, I'll leave to him. I'd say it's not too far-fetched to think there was some divine intervention possibly, um, but I just wanted to come out and be myself. I think I bring this team leadership and energy and that's what I want to do today and then the stat line will take care of itself and and there's nothing more I want to do than get a win, and uh, I'm glad we were able to do that. You know, I do think we had some help from Evan Fran smiling down from heaven, and uh, obviously Mr. Bayer. So, it, you know, it was a tough, a tough week, I'm not going to lie, a tough week. When it's all said and done, they understood the game plan. We kept it simple, and we played Sienna basketball. I can't say enough good things about Mike. Um, he's, he not only inspires me, but you know, our entire team. It's just incredible how he comes into into work every day with with a smile on his face and a positive attitude like it's it's absolutely mesmerizing to watch and I, I learned so much from him um, how to carry myself every day how to carry loss and grief the way he has with such maturity and positivity he's an incredible guy I'm lucky to be friends with him the Saints hit the road on Sunday when they head to Maris for a 2 p.m. tip off Michael Bear will not be with the team because he'll be back at home for his father's funeral services though he won't be with his team I'm sure some of that magic from tonight will travel with them down to Poughkeepsie. For Big Board Sports, I'm Lexi Swat. Ashley, back to you. Thank you, Lexi. To high school hoops now in the marquee matchup on the girls' side featured two state-ranked teams in Class AA. Colony has just one loss in the Suburban Council, taking on a Bethlehem team that was a perfect 10-0 in conference early on in this one first quarter. Caroline Davis grabs that. Kicks it out. There she is. Knocks down the jumper for the Eagles. She had a team high 13 points for Bethlehem. On the other end, Isabella Franchi leads the way for the Raiders. She steps in and hits the J on the way to a game high 15 points. She's joined in double figures by Jayla Tyler and Gabrielle Martin. Franchi to Martin, and she gets the runner to fall in the lane. But Bethlehem is unbeaten for a reason. Ellie Surf gets that to fall from about the free throw line. The Eagles prevail 51 41 over Colony. For the rest of Friday night's reported scores, you can head to our website, WNYT.com, and click on the Callanan Industries scoreboard. We're less than 12 hours away from puck drop for the annual Mayor's Cup game at MVP Arena. The women play back-to-back -back nights. Last night counted for points in the ECAC standings. Union and RPI at the Houston Fieldhouse. It's tied at one after two periods. Seconds into the third, Hannah Price gets it to Ellie Kaiser, who knuckle pucks that thing into the back of the net, and then she gets body slammed by Price and that celebration. I guess it hurts a little less when you score, right? Amanda Rampato gives up just one goal, and RPI takes round two of the regular season 2-1. The Engineers and Dutch women will play at 3 o'clock this afternoon for that Mayor's Cup. The two men's teams will play after the ladies at 6 o'clock. The Engineers and Dutchmen split the two regular season meetings, and Union currently holds the cup. No question. I think we got to, you know, look back at the first two games and, and remember what we learned from those and, um, you know, make sure that we're just, you know, again, focused on ourselves but aware of what RPI is going to try to do. It's a real rivalry, and to do it downtown um, for bragging rights with the mayors here, it, it's special. 
Theo's nose was cause for alarm, so Dad brought Puffs Plus Lotion to save it from harm. Puffs has 50% more lotion and brings soothing relief. Don't get burned by winter nose. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. America's number one lotion tissue. Bounty versus the old family dish towel. Drying with a fresh sheet of Bounty leaves your hands cleaner than a used dish towel that can carry and redistribute food residue. So ditch the dish towel for better hand hygiene. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. It's a special venue with special people, and, um, you know, I go back to what we mentioned earlier. It's an important game. It's the first of three games in three days for the Thunder, who fall to the Lions 4-2 to two last night. The same two teams play tonight at 7 o'clock at Cool Insuring Arena. That will do it in sports this morning. I'm Ashley Miller.